Um, I, I'm personally passionate for the project, but um, I would love to share with you about Deep Creek Chapel, which is a tiny church uh, up in Mount Vernon, uh, a very rural area. And about 15 years ago, they started with Operation Christmas Child packing shoeboxes, like many of your churches handing out shoeboxes to families and bringing them back one by one. Uh, but it wasn't enough for them. They really wanted to dig in, and they were very competitive up there. Um, <laughs> very competitive area. They started with high action, uh, rural area, I said that. So with their high action, they got the kids' church involved, and the kids put on a lunch, and they grew up at high action. Um, and it grew and grew up every year. Um, last year, they uh, raised enough money to send 125 boxes. But the thing is, it wasn't about the number of boxes that they uh, were sending. These kids, when they raised the money, the first thing they did was they put the money aside to ship the boxes. But then what was really important to them was that they put the money aside to uh, fund the greatest journey. Because what they really cared about was making sure every one of those kids heard the gospel. They cared that they got Jesus. They cared that they got a really good box. That they really cared that they got to sit and hear the greatest story. And hear Jesus. And every year, that's the first thing they do. They put the money inside to get the greatest story. Too many churches still don't know what happens after the box. It's a box full of toys and candy and items and school supplies, and that's great. A good quality box is great. But you need to tell your churches, you need to tell them what happens after the box. This is an eternal gift. We are giving these children Jesus. And that's what they need to know. I love the Yeah, that sounds like a part of church. And they get the concept of multiplication. This is evangelism, discipleship, 